Hello and welcome back to Latest Sin. Today I'm going to be showing you my beloved Amiga Dynamic Chronograph, which I've owned since new, and I think it was there on the 20th of the 10th of 2000. And its box is, is mint, um, and I love that. I love that fact that it came in a tin with the, the leather wrapped around, because a watch with the red box from around the 2000s now, those boxes have seen better days and you can see plenty on eBay where the, the reds peeled off the actual box itself where I'm quite glad that my dynamic tin is still looking pretty, pretty damn nifty. I've still got the, the cushion that came on in the tin. I've still even got its, uh, its tag at the bottom there. Right, so without further ado, let's get onto the watch itself. That's the reason we're all here. Right, and there she is. It's sapphire crystal. The case is satin brushed, stainless steel, with a diameter of 38 mm. However, to me, it wears much smaller on the wrist, and I think it's more closer to 36 mm than the 38. The thickness there is 13 mm with lug to lug of 46 mm. The lug width is 20 mm. It's got a screw down crown with two pump chronograph pushes either side. So you get a 30 minute chronograph counter. So the top one obviously starts the chronograph, stops it, and the bottom one resets it. It's using a 21 jeweled Amiga Caliber 1138, which is the ETA 2892 A2, plus a Mado Chrono Depra Depraz 2030, with a power reserve of 42. At the time of ordering, I preferred the the leather strap it originally came on, which is still here, which was brown suede calf leather design buckle. Um, rather than the actual stainless steel option, which was the alternative, I just didn't think it looked right on a stainless steel bracelet. And today, I still see the pictures of it on the internet. I still don't think it looks right. I think it's always been best suited on a on a leather strap. But I've got it on. But on this watch gecko orange strap at the moment, which I'm looking to look for a NATO strap for for this particular piece. I never do purchase a NATO strap. I will certainly pop it on and give you a quick review of it. So, what drew me to this watch? Well, it was this black dial with those arabic numerals which are coating in a numerescent material and it's sword like hands. Uh, I, just, uh, I just fell in love as soon as I, I saw this watch in the Amiga manual, the Amiga catalog, should say, and I think it was modelled by uh, Piers Brosnan. Particularly like the um, the arrow on the chronograph and there, uh, to say, gives the impression it's a a little bit like a Rolex Explorer, that kind of um, vibe it's trying to produce there. You can see there, it's got the running seconds at three o'clock and on the left here at nine o'clock we've got the 30 minute chronograph counter. No date you can see on this one only the non-chronograph dynamics had the the date at three o'clock but that doesn't bother me. I just preferred the chronograph version and over the years you can see it's pretty pretty shaped up but you can actually see a noticeable ding there just past four o'clock there and just near that bottom pusher i did actually have the the two pushers replaced on a service not so long ago due to an accident basically the watch fell onto a tiled floor ouch i know but i'm glad that the only damage really was two pushers and a little ding on the side there i've been told they'd polish out but it gives the watch a bit of history and it reminds me of what a fool I was on that particular day in question. It's got a solid case back with a screw, 
screw back. And there's not too many marks on there. There's obviously there's a few little scratches, but it's not really beaten up that much apart from, as I just mentioned before, the little ting it took on the side there, which it just adds to its character. So what's it running like a here? Well, I get approximately plus one second per day on this. It really is one of my um, more efficient watches in the automatic range of my collection. And it really does push the bar for the others to follow. I don't know why this watch didn't sell as well as the, uh, the hoped really. Well, I'm lucky in the sense that I liked it. And as a consequence now, it's a bit of a rare bird and a collector's piece among collectors. No, I, this won't be leaving my collection. And here is the wrist shot. I don't think it looks too small or too big, to be honest. It just wears a slightly, slightly smaller than what it actually looks like. It is quite a chunky watch, and door jars are a problem with this particular watch cat in contact with. I'm lucky that I've not really tinged the door jar. Well, how actually there, you can see a little ting there at 8 o'clock on the outside. I am looking for a suitable NATO for this for this piece and as I said if I find one I shall let you know. So there she is. I shall add the loom shot of this beauty. And there is the loom shot. And doesn't she look beautiful? So there you have it, that's my look at my beloved Amiga Dynamic Chronograph. And if you've liked this watch, I really do urge you to, to scour that internet to try and find one in as best condition as possible really. But obviously you've got to bear in mind that, as you can see, there, the ting, you're going to likely get one that's got a few little tings around that case there due to obviously it's it's size there but it's still it's still a wonderful piece particularly if you can find one in good nick so that's it i shall see you in the next video sorry sorry i'm just trying uh, to film a watch segment sorry sorry Oh, this is going to work. Sorry. There's just too many folk about. Oh, this is terrible. Yes, yes, hurry on, bright. I need to film my, my segment. Sorry. This is so frustrating. Why on earth did I come on a Saturday? Oh, you know what? Sod it. Wait for the next gap, wait for the next gap. Oh yes. I'm not moving now. I'm getting rhythm. Sorry, sorry, I can't move folks. I'm just filling my colostomy bag and I can't move. I'll be finished soon. Oh yes. Getting rhythm now. Oh. I, uh, I think it's about to blow. Oh, look at that. There it goes. Marvellous. I can feel it running down my leg now. Till the next time, don't forget to subscribe.